This will be the last email I send out about a flight skit. If you do not perform a flight skit, it will be embarrassing and will reflect your dedication and teamwork as a flight. Right, stop, 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 stop. People keep talking about how home is too big to fit through a door. Well, one, it's not our problem. And two, well, I don't know if it works the ladies, but whatever. And more. Let's talk about these protein shakes. You're taking it way too far, man. I mean, when you get up to the grog and you can't even hold it, I mean, it's a... Uh, Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Yo, so I got this new phone. Keep in touch with all my boys. Texting all the time like mad. You know, looking at whoa. Who is that? Someone's texting me. See? Is it? Oh man. Cadet Steadings. No way. My homeboy. You know they call me babyface killer white. Let's see. Who's calling? Oh Steadings, what up? Oh man, I'm so tired. It's been such a long day. I mean, I just got back from marching band practice and and then I gotta go to lacrosse practice now where I gotta get all stinky and sweaty. Then I have to go to my jazz concert. Then, then I, it's going to be so late and I still have to take Addie out to go play with her. And then I have to wake up at 3.30 in the morning to go drive the MCs crazy. It's just, I'm just so tired. I'm probably just going to crash. Um, I don't want to be an overachiever or uh, act bigger than I really am, like Cadet Foster. But me and my boys were talking and, uh, we need to get pilot slots, or else we're not going to have anything to do when we join the Air Force. I mean, we could be like my friend Bobo over here and join the circus, or we could just stick around a few more years like Del Campo. But we hope you thought this was funny.